Have you ever been told that you can't print big just because you have a small format direct to film printer? What a bunch of hocus pocus. Esteban here with All America Print Supply and today we're making this wicked t-shirt with this entry level direct to film printer. Now just because your DTF machine might be capped at 13 inches wide doesn't mean you're limited to only printing 13 inches. Stick around with us for this Excel tutorial as we walk you through step by step all the way from design to pressing, no tricks, just treats. Let us know in the comment section down below what's the largest side graphic you've made with direct to film and buckle up for the big time. We already mentioned the Prestige R1 is a 13 inch direct to film printer. Well, what we have here today is a men's 2XL t shirt and a graphic we want to print measuring in at 17 by 24 inches. Now, you might think by the size of the design, we're going to be limited as far as what we can produce with this printer. However, by using Photoshop and breaking up this spooky design into segments, we're able to print them out individually and piece them together. You want to see how we did it? Let's go ahead and fire up the Photoshop. Type in the size you would like in the width and the height bar. Make sure the unit has been set to inches and let's make sure the resolution is set to 300 or more. Now to import our file, we're just going to click up here on the menu bar, select place embedded. We're going to locate the file and click place on the right bottom. Now, once the file's in Photoshop, let's select the move tool over here on the left bar. It's usually the first tool and check show transform controls on top bar. Now, after that, you can change the file size by click and dragging the corner of the file. Now, last step, right click at the layer and select rasterize layer. Now to split the picture, once everything is ready, let's click this pen icon on the left toolbar. Make sure the top drop down bar menu is selected for path and then let's start click around the part you want to split. Now the pen tool will automatically create the links between each of these points. Now make sure to close the path by clicking the first point by drop at the end. Now after everything, let's right click and choose make selection and click OK again. Let's select the rectangle marquee tool over here on the left toolbar, right click on the graphic and choose copy via cut. Now you're going to notice on the layer part that the image has already been split into two. Now by clicking on the eye icon on the left of each layout, you can hide the layer for export for each section later. Now if you need to cut this into more pieces like we do, just repeat these steps. We're going to hide one layer first, then click the crop tool on the left toolbar, click the file again and start the crop around until there's no dead space around the images. Let's click file on the top menu bar, select save as and in the pop up window, check the save and type as PNG. Let's rename this to something we can remember. Hit save. Do the same for the other parts. And there you go. This Halloween theme design is no horror movie to actually print. That's because today we have our Prestige R1 loaded up with our go-to transfer film from ColorPrime. And today we're also working with our new and improved Miro 13 Max, ensuring hands-free powder application and proper transfer preparation. Using the DigiRip software, we could simply drag in all of our designs. We're gonna size them up accordingly so that they all fit together as a combined piece. And send the job. As you can see, we've already gone ahead and removed the excess film to make it easier to arrange these as one complete piece. Now to apply these, we're going to be working with our Prisma Auto Clam, which is a 16 by 20 heat press. We're going to be using a temperature of approximately 320 degrees Fahrenheit and the recommended application time is between 10 to 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and get these arranged. Let's go ahead and get this nice and centered. We're going to hang our collar off the edge of the platen so we get nice even contact. Let's bring the drawer back in. We're going to protect our heat press with our cover sheet. Let's go ahead and give it the first press. All right, now because this is Color Prime Universal Film, which is a hot peel, before we remove it, we're just going to gently rub around these ink areas to cool this down just for a sec. And now we're going to do a smooth control peel, not up to the ceiling, but against the shirt itself. 
Here we go. We got our first transfer in place. Let's go ahead and position the next one. Bring in transfer number two. Let's try and align this to get all the details to match up. Okay, looks like everything is connecting here. Let's go ahead and put our cover sheet down. This appeal. All right, this is really coming together. Now, you may notice that as we're pressing these, parts of the previous design are getting hit a second time, and in some cases on this last one, will be hit a third time. Direct-to-film is very forgiving. So if you are arranging larger pieces of artwork, making oversized graphics, that is a very user-friendly process. You can apply these multiple times. It'll be totally okay with the contact. Let's get this last one in position. Got it. For the finishing press, we're using our same temperature, different time. This is gonna be a five second application. This is gonna seal the transfer into the material so it lasts wash after wash. We wanted to make this video today show that even with a small format, entry level desktop direct to film printer, we don't have to be scared about producing oversized images. The principles in today's video can be applied across the board with all of our machines to produce beyond their listed print widths. This can be especially useful in today's landscape of oversized streetwear style graphics, as well as a tremendous showcase for potential customers who may be interested in those type of print on demand services. This is also a great value for customers who may be working on a budget but looking to bring this sort of production in house. You don't necessarily need the largest, most expensive printer in the world just to get started. The Prestige R1 is available now and being priced under $5,000. Direct-to-film is becoming more accessible for those looking to make the jump into professional printing. Have you run into size issues or limitations with your equipment? How did you overcome them? Let us hear those horror stories in the comments section down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We upload weekly content here on the channel and we have a lot of fun. It's more tips and tricks instead of trick-or-treats. And I'm hilarious. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. My name is Estevan from all of us here at All Omega Print Supply. I wish you a safe and happy Halloween.